the Enterprise Manager acts as the repository of CA Interscope performance metrics. The Enterprise Manager receives performance metrics from one or more CA Interscope agents. It allows users to collect metrics centrally from many applications, application servers, and supporting systems. Now let's see how to install the Enterprise Manager. Double-click the Interscope installer file to start the installation. The introduction page of CA Interscope installer is displayed. Click Next to continue. Now, we need to select the I accept the terms of the license agreement option, and then click Next. Let's select the complete installation option to install all the Interscope components. Click Next to continue. Next. We need to specify the location of the directory where we will install the CA Interscope. Click Next to continue. In the Configure JVM Settings page, we need to specify whether to configure Java Virtual Machine settings for Interscope components during the installation. If we select Yes, then we have to specify the Java Virtual Machine settings for each Interscope component that we wish to install. For the purpose of this demonstration, Let's select No from the drop-down list. The JVM settings can be configured manually after the installation. Click Next to continue. Let's specify the location of the external components package. This allows us to install and run the Enterprise Manager. Click Next to continue. Click the I accept the terms of the license agreement option and then click Next. Let's specify the ports that Interscope Enterprise Manager will use to listen for incoming connections and serve web applications. Click Next to continue. In the Enterprise Manager Passwords page, we need to specify whether the Enterprise Manager installer will gather and update user passwords for admin and guest users. For the purpose of the demo, let's select No from the drop-down list. Click Next to continue. Now. We need to specify whether this Enterprise Manager will participate in a cluster. During a POC, it's likely to choose a standalone setup. So, we will select No from the drop down list and click Next. Here, specify the number of days that you wish to store the transaction trace data. Let's accept the default value, which is 14 days. Click Next to continue. Similarly, Accept the default value for storing the trace data. Click Next to continue. Here, we can specify a directory for smart store and thread dumps. Let's accept the default values and click Next. For the purpose of the demo, we are storing the data storage and thread dump directory in the same drive. Therefore, a warning message is displayed informing the same. Click Continue. In the Select Monitoring Options page, let's select the Monitoring Options. Please note that, by default few are selected. In this case, we will deselect all of them. Click Next to continue. Now, select the CAAPM for SOA option for Monitoring SOA Environment, and click Next. In the Enterprise Manager as Windows Service page, let's accept the default values, and click Next. Here is the Enterprise Manager pre-installation summary page. Let us review the pre-installation summary of the Enterprise Manager and click Next to continue. Next, let us deploy the APM database. Here, we need to select the PostgreSQL option from the drop-down list. PostgreSQL database is bundled in the installer. Click Next to continue. Let's select the Install Database option from the drop-down list and click Next. In the Target Installation directory for the APM database page, let's accept the default values and click Next to continue. Let's accept the default database connection port and PostgreSQL administrator username. Enter the PostgreSQL administrator password and confirm the same. Then, click Next. Similarly, in the APM database settings page, let's accept the default database name and user. Enter the database password and confirm the same. Click Next. Here is the database configuration summary. 
Let's review the settings of database configuration, and then click Next. Let's specify the port on which WebView will listen for HTTP connections. Further, let's specify the WebView Enterprise Manager host and WebView Enterprise Manager port details, and click Next. In the WebView as Windows Service page, let's accept the default values and click Next. Here is the WebView pre-installation summary page. Let's review the WebView settings, and click Install to continue. In the Install Complete page, let's click Done to finish the installation. This completes Interscope Enterprise Manager installation with PostgreSQL database. We will now start the M services.